So I'd like to get the next session started. This is another session on secure computation. The first talk is constant round black box construction of composable multi-party computation protocol. It's by Susumu, Susumu Kyoshima, Yoshifumi Manabe, and Tatsuaki Okamoto. And Susumu will give the talk. Oh, oh. So thank you. thank you for introduction. So I'm Susumu Kyoshima. And I will talk about our result on black box constructions of composable multi-party computation protocol. So this is a joint work with uh, Yoshimi Wanabe and Tatsuaki Okamoto. So I will first begin from the introduction. So in multi-party computation, a set, of, a set of parties have a secret input, and they wish, it, they wish to compute an arbitrary function f on their input. Then uh, the security requirement is that the real world in which uh, the computation is done by executing the protocol is as secure as the ideal world in which uh, all computation is done by, uh, by a trusted third party. And formally, uh, this, uh, this security requirement is defined by using a simulation paradigm. And in this paradigm, uh, a protocol is defined to be secure if, uh, for any adversary, uh, there exists a uh, for, uh, for any adversary that uh, that performs an attack in the real world, uh, there exists a simulator uh, such that uh, in the ideal world, uh, this simulator out of it, the view of the, uh, the uh, this simulator simulates the view of the adversary and uh, the the out of it of the owner's party and the view of the real world, uh, the view of the adversary in the real world is. Uh, indistinguishable with uh, the output of the honest party and uh, uh, the simulated view of the real of the simulator. So uh, informally speaking, uh, this definition says that uh, any attack in the real world can be simulated in the ideal world. And so this definition guarantees that the real world is as secure as the, the ideal world. And uh, MPC is a fundamental notion in cryptography, and uh, we have a lot of work, a lot of works on MPC. And uh, in this work, uh, we focus on black box constructions of multi-party computation and the concurrently secure multi-party computation. And in black box constructions, uh, cryptographic primitives such as one-way functions or collision resistance hash, fun hash functions are used only in a black box way. So in other words, uh, the primitives are used only through the input output out interfaces, and the, the code of the primitives are not used in the protocol. And usually, uh, black box constructions uh, is considered to be more practical than non black box. And this is because uh, in, tip in typical non black box constructions, uh, there are a lot of zero knowledge protocol. Uh, which means that we have to compute ex expensive NP reductions in the protocol, and so the protocol is inefficient. And in contrast, uh, in black box constructions, uh, there is no zero knowledge protocol. And so uh, it is usually much more efficient and easier to implement than no black box. One. And because of this, uh, the, because of this uh, efficiency benefit of uh, black box constructions, as uh, Several works uh, study black box constructions of multi-party computation protocol. And in particular, uh, in 2011, uh, Goyal showed a constant round protocol, uh, which is secure in the standalone stand setting. And here, uh, in the standalone setting, uh, a single set of parties execute a single protocol at a time. And traditionally, uh, the security of all cryptograph cryptographic protocols is considered in this setting. However, uh, in modern networks, uh, like the internet, uh, the protocols are executed in the concurrent setting, uh, in which uh, many parties execute many different protocols at the same time. And so, uh, if we want to execute a MPC protocol on the internet, uh, we, have to con uh, we have to use a concurrently secure multi-party computation. And, uh, as as a formalization of a concurrent security, uh, Canetti proposed UC security, uh, which guarantee a strong security property called uh, universal composability. However, uh, it was shown that uh, UC security is too strong to achieve. Uh, that is, uh, it, uh, it is impossible to construct a UC secure MPC protocol uh, without using any trusted setups. 
then uh, to, const, uh, to, con to obtain concurrently secure MPC, uh, several works proposed a relaxed definition of UC security, uh, which can be achieved in, without using any trust setups. And the examples of these uh, relaxed definitions are uh, super polynomial time simulation security and the angel based UC security, uh, which I will explain in the next slide. And uh, in SPS security, uh, the security definitions uh, is relaxed by uh, allowing the simulator to run in super polynomial time t. So, uh, so uh, in SPS security, uh, the simulator in the real world is stronger than the real world, uh, than, than the adversary in the real world. And then, uh, informally speaking, uh, SPS security guarantees that uh, any attack in the real world can be simulated in the real idea world in super polynomial time t. And so, uh, if uh, the idea world is secure even against uh, a t time adversary, then SPS security guarantee a sufficient level of security in the, in the real world. And in many cases, uh, uh, idea world is secure even against a computationally unbounded adversary. And so, uh, in many cases, SPS security, SPS security guarantees meaningful security. And uh, NJBS UC security is a security definition uh, that is closely related to SPS security. And uh, in particular, it, it is a stronger security notion than SPS security. And so, uh, whenever SPS security guarantees sufficient level of security, NJBS UC security also guarantees a meaningful, sec meaningful security. And in addition, uh, unlike SPS security, uh, which does not guarantee uh, universal compatibility, uh, engine-based UC security guarantees universal compatibility. And so uh, by using uh, engine-based UC security, uh, we can construct universally compatible MPC protocol uh, without using any trusted setups. And uh, from previous work, uh, we know that uh, we have a uh, black box construction of multi-party computation protocol and the concurrently secure multi-party computation protocol. Then a uh, natural question is whether we have a uh, MPC protocol that satisfy both of these uh, property. Uh, that is uh, whether we have a uh, black box construction of concurrently secure MPC protocol. And uh, in 2012, uh, Lian and Pass shows that this, the answer of this question is yes, uh, by showing a uh, Black box constructions of concurrently secure MPC protocol from semi honest oblivious transfer protocol. And the security of the protocol is proven in angel based UC, angel -based UC security. And so uh, the protocol is universally composable. And the round complexity of the protocol is n to the epsilon. And uh, in this work, uh, we consider a question of whether we can reduce the round complexity of the protocol. And in particular, uh, we study whether we can uh, construct a constant round, constant round protocol. And here we note that uh, if we use uh, the underlying protocol, an uh, underlying primitive in non-black non box way, we already have a constant round protocol and a non-standard assumption or quasi-polynomial quasi -polynomial time assumption. And so uh, whether we can convert this non-black box result to uh, Black box result is an important question. And in this work, uh, we show that uh, the answer of this question is yes. OK, so uh, this is uh, our result. Uh, in this work, uh, we show a constant around black box construction of concurrently secure MPC protocol. And our protocol is secure in the NJBSUC security. And so our protocol is uh, universally composable. And uh, we obtain our protocol uh, from uh, our functions that are secure against sub-exponential time assumption, uh, sub-exponential time adversary, and uh, semi-honest oblivious transfer protocol that is secure against uh, quasi-polynomial time adversary. And uh, from uh, this slide, uh, I will explain how to obtain our MPC protocol. And uh, from previous work, uh, we know that uh, Constant round black box constructions of composable MPC protocol can be obtained from uh, constant round semi honest oblivious tra transfer protocol and the constant round black box constructions of CCS secure commitment scheme, uh, which I will explain in the, in the next slide. So, uh, to, to construct our MPC, pro MPC protocol, uh, it, it suffices to pro construct a black box, constant round black box constructions of CCS secure commitment scheme. 
So here, uh, CCH secure commitment scheme uh, are defined as follows. So consider a commitment scheme in which both the sender and the receiver have a common input ID. Then uh, consider, a, consider an attack called a chosen commitment attack. So in this attack, uh, the adversary can make a query to the oracle called the committed value oracle. Then uh, in, the, in each query, the adversary uh, generates a commitment. And this oracle uh, extracts the committed value by brute force and returns the extracted value to the adversary. And at the same time, uh, the adversary receives a challenge commitment from the external sender. And uh, the adversary tried to, tried to break the hiding property of uh, this challenge commitment. Then uh, a commitment scheme is defined to be CCS secure if uh, the committed value M of this challenge commitment is hidden from the adversary, as long as uh, the ID used in the challenge commitment is different from the ID used in the query. And uh, to construct our MPC protocol, uh, we follow these two steps. So in the first step, uh, we construct a commitment scheme with uh, weak security and with short ID. So let 11 CCS security is a CCS security with respect to a restricted class of adversary that makes only a single query to the Oracle. Then, uh, as a first step, uh, we construct a black box, a constant round black box constructions of 11 CCS commitment scheme with ID of length log 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 n. Then, uh, in the second step, uh, we amplify the security and ID length of this 11 CCS secure commitment. And uh, towards this end, uh, we, we show two transformations. So in the, in the, first, in the first transformation, uh, we strengthen the security uh, by constructing a CCS secure commitment from one one CCS secure commitment. And then uh, in the second transformation, uh, we increase ID length uh, by constructing a one one CCS secure commitment with ID of to length, uh, with ID length of length two to the T from uh, a CCS commitment with ID of length T. And uh, so then uh, by repeated, repeatedly applying, the, applying these two transformations to the one one CCS commitment of the first step, uh, we can construct a CCS commitment scheme with ID of length N. And here uh, in the first step, uh, uh, to obtain our MB 11CC secure commitment, uh, we, use, uh, we convert non black box constructions of non variable commitment scheme of uh, pass and V uh, to the black box scheme uh, by using trapdoor commitment scheme of pass and V and the cut and choose technique of uh, Choi Dutchman Solid marking and V. And uh, in, the second, uh, in the second step, uh, to increase ID length, uh, we use DDN log trick of uh, Doref, Dwarf, and Nawa. And in this talk, uh, I will explain how we strengthen the security. Uh, that is, how we, uh, how we construct CCS secure commitment scheme from one one CCS secure commitment scheme. Okay. And uh, to construct our CCS secure commitment scheme from one one CCS secure commitment scheme, uh, we use a concurrently extractable commitment scheme, uh, which we obtain from uh, a sub exponential time one way function. Uh, the round complexity of this commitment scheme is uh, constant, and its hiding property holds even against uh, sub exponential time adversary. And furthermore, uh, the committed values of this commitment scheme can be extracted even in the concurrent setting uh, by using an extractor that runs in N to the log N time. Then, uh, intuitively, uh, we achieve CCS security by using a concurrent start of commitment scheme as forward. So recall that uh, CCS security means that uh, the hiding property holds even against, uh, uh, even against adversary that makes query to the Oracle. Then uh, to show the CCS security, we observe that uh, the committed value Oracle can be emulated in end to the log n time uh, by extracting the committed value from the adversary and returning this extracted value to the adversary. And then, uh, since uh, the combined running time of the adversary and the extractor is at most uh, n to the log n, and since uh, the hiding property of the challenge commitment hold even against sub exponential time adversary, uh, we can show the CC security uh, by reducing uh, 
the CC security to the hiding property. Okay, but uh, we have a problem. So, so in order to extract the committed value from the adversary, uh, we have to rewind. Re we have to rewind the adversary. But uh, the adversary uh, interact with the oracle and the external sender at the same time. So, uh, in order to extract the committed value, we have to rewind the external sender as well. But then, uh, the hiding property of the challenge commitment no longer holds. And so, uh, we cannot uh, show the CCS security by reducing the CCS security to the hiding, pro hiding property. And uh, to solve this problem, uh, we design our scheme as follows. So first, uh, we combine commit, uh, non interactive commitment scheme uh, with concurrently extractable commitment scheme, uh, where the committed values of these two commitments are the same. Then, uh, to ensure that uh, the committed value of COM and CECOM are the same, uh, we use cut and choose technique and uh, share and secret sharing scheme for validity check. And I will explain that by using this scheme, uh, we can solve the problem of the previous slide. So first, I know that uh, by extracting a challenge in the first step, uh, we can commit to any garbage value in CECOM by, uh, without being detected by the receiver. Uh, so this means that uh, we can generate a simulated commitment, uh, which is indistingu indistinguishable from uh, a real commitment. Then I consider an adversary against CCS security. So first, uh, we will consider a hybrid experiment in which uh, the, uh, the challenge commitment is switched to simulated commitment. Then, uh, as I explained, uh, I, we, we emulate Oracle by extracting the committed value from the adversary and uh, returning the committed value to the, uh, to the adversary. Then, uh, our observation is that uh, also, uh, in this time, also uh, the challenge commitment is ruined. Uh, it is uh, it, the hiding property of challenge commitment still hold uh, because uh, it is a simulated challenge commit simulated commitment, uh, so it is uh, essentially one round commitment. Then, uh, since uh, well, uh, challenge hiding property of the challenge commitment still hold, uh, we can reduce uh, we can show the CCS security by reducing the CCS security to the hiding uh, to the hiding property as I explained before. Uh, but uh, this solution generates another problem called the simulation soundness. So when the adversary receives uh, uh, re receive a simulated commitment, the adversary may cheat in the query uh, by using this simulated challenge commitment. And in particular, in the query, uh, the adversary uh, may, may, may generate a commitment such that uh, the committed values on COM and CE COM may not be the same. Then, uh, and, and so uh, we cannot guarantee that uh, the adversary, uh, we can extract the committed value from the adversary, and so we cannot uh, show that uh, the oracle can be emulated. And uh, to solve this problem, uh, we use one one CCS secure commitment scheme in cut and choose phase. And in particular, we use one one CCS secure commitment to commit to the challenge in the first step. And then I will show that uh, by using this scheme, uh, we can solve the problem of the simulation soundness. So first, I know that uh, by using this, uh, the committed value oracle of the one one CCS secure commitment scheme, uh, we can commit to garbage value in CECOM uh, in polynomial time and without rewinding the adversary. So uh, this means that we, by using the committed value oracle of the one one CCS secure commitment, we can generate a simulated challenge simulated commitment. Then uh, consider an adversary that receives a simulated challenge commitment. And I will show that uh, uh, this adversary cannot cheat in the query. So uh, my, my, our observation is that uh, since uh, by using uh, the committed value oracle of the challenge commitment, we can generate a simulated challenge commitment. Uh, the one one CCA security of the one one CCA commitment guarantees that uh, a uh, simulated challenge commitment is useless for breaking the hiding property of the one, uh, of the one machine CCS secure commitment. And so, uh, even when the adversary receives a simulated challenge commitment, uh, the adversary cannot break the, uh, 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 the challenge in the, uh, so, 
the adversary cannot break the hiding property of the, of the WabaCC's commitment, and so challenge in the query is hidden from the adversary. Then, uh, by using a standard technique on cut and chew technique, uh, we can show that the adversary cannot cheat in the query, even when the adversary receives a challenge commitment, a simulated challenge commitment. Then, uh, then once we show that uh, the adversary cannot cheat in the query, uh, we can show that, that our scheme is CC secure by, uh, as before, as I explained, by, show, uh, by showing that the oracle can be emulated and show, and then reducing the CC security to the hiding property. And so our scheme, is, uh, so and so uh, in this way we can show that this scheme is CC secure. Okay, so this is summary. So in this, uh, in this work, uh, we first show that the constant around black box construction of CCS commit scheme with weak security and with short ID. And we also show that uh, how, to ex how to strengthen the security and how to increase the ID length. Then uh, by combining these two results, uh, we obtain constant around black box CCS secure commitment. And then uh, by combining, uh, uh, by using the previous result, uh, we obtain constant around black box constructions of a multi batch computation protocol. Uh, from a sub-exponential time assumption. Okay, that's it. Thanks.